time for the savagery. Although it is not preferable, I'd rather be in a rebound relationship with a man who has been in a marriage for 30 years than be the rebound girl to a man who has been in a very committed relationship with a Japanese sex doll. Number one reason, I literally cannot compete with a woman who can have her pussy removed, washed in the sink with warm soap and water, and then replaced for an entirely different set of labia. I literally cannot compete with a woman who can have different size breasts for makeup sex than she does for, say, a romantic candlelit dinner, where maybe D cups rather than C cups would be deemed more appropriate for the occasion. The sex and personality of this woman, okay, of the, this relationship with this woman, is literally the figment of this man's imagination. So presumably, this bitch can do anything. I would be competing with a woman who has a completely malleable body. Guys, without any dedication, okay, training or hard work, this woman can get her legs behind her head twice and orgasm 14 times in missionary position just by her man having the two-minute ride of his life. Dating sites must be a real disappointment for a man who is just coming out of a long-term relationship with a sex doll, okay? I have to be honest at this point because I had to do some research about this because I've never had a reason ever to go on a dating site or buy a sex doll. No, never. But what I did learn is that basically if your girlfriend is a sex doll, you can customize a few things, you know. The first thing that you can replace and customize, you know, is just, you know, run-of-the-mill relationship stuff. You can remove and replace her face. That's right, my friends. He gets bored of the bitch's face. That's fine. He's got six of them. Every skin tone and multiple makeup styles. Each. Oh, yeah, and he can also replace, you know, and customize her hair. You know, normal normal man-woman relationship stuff, guys. Nail color, eye color. That's right, guys. He wants to gaze lovingly into his woman's eyes one night, but he don't want blue eyes that night. Come on, guys. Every person knows that a man needs to be able to change his woman's eyeballs at will. And of course, skin tone. You can customize and change out skin tone. Okay, you feeling a little racist towards one skin tone? Just change it out. Although, it's going to cost you a little bit more because the cost of one of these girls, okay, one of these titty swapping, you know, pussy swapping bitches, okay, $8,000. And I'm pretty sure you're going to have to have more than one if you want different skin tones. So I was just imagining one of these guys, okay, perusing, you know, pleb, you know, run-of-the-mill, flesh-and-blood, you know, people, dating sites, you know, for the plebs. And he's, like, perusing these women's profiles, you know. And he gets so frustrated because he can't find the button to customize her breasts. And he's like, fuck, now I have to actually communicate with this woman to find out what exactly all her face options are and her makeup styles are. And then I imagine one of these dolls actually arriving on this guy's doorstep, okay? I mean, sure, they offer, you know, discreet packaging, but seriously, guys, what the hell's fuck could it be? One of these dolls can weigh up to 70 pounds and be over five feet tall. Discreet my ass. My real flesh and blood cellulite ass. You know, people at UPS aren't looking at it and being like, yeah, it's definitely a new freezer. Or some really large ass roses. But then what happens, you know, when he's in this intimate relationship, like three-year relationship, even marriage with this, with this doll, and she ends up cheating on him with his next-door neighbor's doll. You know, it turns out his doll is a lesbian. And it's all over, biatch. All over. This man deserves better, okay? Instead of your lying, malleable plastic, 
cheating, cold, dead, beaten ass. But where is he going to put the doll when he wants to bring a real woman home? Because I'm going to tell you, I don't know any woman who isn't going to think that having a sex doll who weighs 70 pounds and up to 5 feet tall isn't creepy as fuck. Where is he going to dump the doll without raising suspicion that he has murdered someone and he's dumping the body? It's not like he can put it out on the curb for trash pickup Thursday. Although that would be one lucky day for some dude who's walking around, you know, in the early hours of the morning during trash pickup and he sees an $8,000 sex doll just standing there that he can drag off. Come on. And they say romance is dead. What can I say, guys? It's just jokes with a solid grain of truth.